Hello everyone, Wise Gamer here. Today we're back with another episode of Indie Gameplay where we're playing Bitrip Runner this week. Um, I went ahead and just decided I'm going to skip the 1-10 level. I'm going to try to do 1-11 and we're going to try to do the boss level and that's what this episode's going to be. Um, hopefully I can get past the boss on like one of the first couple tries. You won't have to sit me sit there and watch me just go over and over and over again. But I'd like to at least beat the first zone. I don't like that I've got to the boss level and I haven't been able to beat it yet. So this one's kind of fun if I remember right, but I don't remember the little pitfall things that you have to remember, like where you drop down, and that's what happened to me at the end of uh, last episode, is there was a spot where I was supposed to drop and then jump, and I jumped first, and this game is just not forgiving. It's very precise, and it was totally my own fault. Like, I should have known, like, I should have looked at it and saw that how the jump would have worked out and everything. Um, I just didn't, and I failed. And at that point, I was kind of tired of playing the game already, because it's just... I know how this game is sometimes, so. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, I, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep going to uh, Bit Trip Runner or not. I might do it next week as well, and then we'll just kind of see how things go. But there's no way to move forward unless I beat that box level. So it's kind of like if uh, you get stuck somewhere, like there's literally no moving forward to any other stage whatsoever, um, unless like there's some hack out there that I don't know about, which I don't think there is. So I'll have to beat the box stage basically. There we go. Alright, we're moving pretty good now. Yeah, so uh, I'll have to beat the boss stage and, and get to the next zone and everything so we can move to the next area and see the like Super Meat Boy uh, cameo thingy as an Easter egg and all that stuff, so... I just want to make sure we focus and beat this level first, then we'll get to the boss. You can kind of always tell like when you get to the end of the, the level, because they usually give you the... Uh, ultra upgrade or whatever it is if you collected all the upgrades that is throughout the whole level and you have the rainbow trail thing but now you guys see what i'm saying like it's not that i wish there was randomness at all because i think that would be bad but there's a lot of pattern in the game so if you remember everything you should be good it's just a matter of like you have to remember everything and then i feel like the upgrades should give you like a hit kind of like a mario like mushroom wood or something like okay so now i'm on super so if i get hit i'm gonna go back down to mega and if I'm on Ultra, then I go back down to Super or something like that. But, you know, obviously they aren't going to change the game at this point. It's been released for a long time and everything. But there we go. I'm at Ultra. So now I should go back down to Super if I get hit by something instead of just starting over. But that's not what happens. You know, I got extra and there's absolutely no reason except for points for me to have extra. Okay, lots of jumps and then lots of drops. Kick. Jump, 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 jump. Oh my god. Kick. Lots of jumps again, and perfect timing, otherwise you will get hit by those things, and you will hate your life when you have to restart the whole game again. Oh my god, no, god damn it, oh, fuck, okay. Sorry for the language, guys. I saw the red block, I tried sliding under it instead of jumping over it. Those things are annoying. Game is so unforgiving, and there's no, like, control over that at all. It's literally like, you either hit the right button at the right time, or you don't. Like, no gray area, no anything. <laughs> uh, I feel like the hitboxes and stuff are really spot on. It's just because there's, like, absolutely no freaking room for error at all. Like, it can be frustrating because no one's perfect. Um, you know, it's tough to, to beat a game like that when there's, like, no margin for error at all. But that's what this game's about. It's supposed to be about precision jumping and running and, like, hitting the things in their very, like, specific right time. There's just, like, no indicator of, like, when you're supposed to hit that button, though. Like, you know, in other games, like, let's say, like, DDR is a very... Dance Dance Revolution, that is, DDR. Uh, it's a very specific, like, rhythm game where you need to hit a button at a specific time and you'll get points. But if, like, you fail, first of all, like, you don't really lose out on the whole song where, like, you get restarted, you just get booed a lot. Or, like, they give you, like, arrows that float down, the too, so... You kind of know, like, when you have to hit it. Or, like, Rock Band or Guitar Hero, like, you know... They give you, like, the keys that tell you, like, which one to hit, and then when it hits it at the bottom of your screen, like, that's when you're supposed to do it. And this rhythm game, there is no indicator whatsoever. It's literally just, like, listening to the music in the background and trying to find the right spots to hit the buttons, and then trying to just uh, pay attention as much as you possibly can and not fudge up, so... Again, it's not that it's hard, it's just... It's not a hard game, it's just difficult to hit the right keys perfectly all the time without any error whatsoever, because if there is an error, you're going to start at the very beginning of the freaking level, so. Checkpoints and or the ability to have like a health gauge where my Mega goes down to the basic level again, or my Ultra goes back to Super or something like that. 
That's the only request that I would want. <laughs> so we got super, so I should be able to go down to Mega, but that's not gonna happen. If I get hit by something, I'm SOL and I gotta start over. So there's almost no point other than the fact that the music sounds cooler, cooler, I don't know, more cool at the uh, ultra level or uh, extra level or something like that. Okay, we gotta remember there's a red brick somewhere over here after these jumps. Lots of jumps and there's gonna be a kick thing. See, this is where you gotta have a little bit of memory. So lots of jumps and then another kick thing. And I think one more time with the jumps and a kick thing. Keyboard space key's gonna get, oh, no more kick things, but there's gonna be a red block somewhere. Jump, jump, kick, jump. Oh my God, are you kidding me? And I saw the checkered flag, holy crap. All right, guys, we beat this level. I don't want to the level to go on again. You guys will get bored watching that. We're already six minutes into it, so we're gonna go to zone one. I beat the level before, so I can do this. Normally, I wouldn't just skip ahead like that, but I was at the end of the level, so we'll count that as a win. Now, this freaking boss here, the level itself is super easy. Like, big deal. Jump a lot, get mega, jump, get super, jump, get ultra, jump, get extra, and I didn't pay attention, but I'm supposed to just drop down there, I forgot. But yeah, mega. Super, ultra, extra. I dropped, but it didn't work still. All right, whatever. This part's not hard though, it's the point. <laughs> I'm making it harder than it needs to be. That's the boss himself that's hard. Wow, I'm just not doing good with the jump, the jumping timing here. Maybe today's just a bad day for Bit Trip Runner. Messed up some in the last episode, and then I think what's going on is uh, we had the air on in the apartment and it was very, very cold. So here's the boss, okay. So this guy, all he does is just drop a bunch of stuff, but he drops it like right in freaking front of you. You have like no reaction time sometimes. It's literally like, oh, I died. What did I die to? So next time I remember that at that point I'll die and I need to do this move or something like that. So the double jumps aren't a big deal. Jump kick, jump kick right in front of you. Jump kick, jump kick right in front of you. And then this kick him, which took me a while to figure out. So jump, under jump, jump, under jump jump kick and this is the part that's hard right there I did it that time jump oh and then I jumped into it damn it I was doing that in the botted videos too it's so hard like you have to like stare at him and just like press the key like as soon as it comes out oh my god and I fell again I'm not doing good with this whole memory thing guys it's just not happening I wonder if Markiplier I think Markiplier played Bit Trip Runner but I don't know if he played it very much I wonder if he played this episode. Like, it'd be fun to watch him, or PewDiePie too, like, fail and just, like, rage on these games. That'd be so much fun. Ugh. Alright, boss. Come out here again. Let's see what happens. Alright, so... Basic jumps. Got it. That's not a big deal. I got this. I can always get that first hit on him. It's the second hit. I think I got close to the second hit once. <laughs> In the times that I played this game. Like close once. I just keep messing up. Jump, jump kick, and then we're gonna kick him. Alright, that's the easy part. Then we gotta break this other side off. So, you jump and get under him, and then jump again. There we go. Okay. Jump kick. Double jump. Kick. Jump. Kick. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Double jump. Jump kick. Jump kick. Jump kick. Oh my god, I jumped into it. I hit A, but it didn't work. Damn it. A is my kick button, by the way. Um, it's default, but I don't know if you guys use A or if you use what it would be. I think H is another one or something like that. <sighs> Frustrating. We got like another minute before I give up on this one, and that's because I'm trying to keep the videos around 10 minutes, so... Unless I get super far on this one, this may be the last run, because we got about 45 seconds to beat them. Music's awesome gotta say. Kinda keeps me cheery, in a way. Needs to be a little bit more upbeat, I guess, to keep me cheery, uh, when the frustration comes out, but. <laughs> jump kick, jump kick, we got that. Yep, jump kick, jump kick, and then a double jump. Nope, not yet. See, already forgetting stuff, guys, but it's so hard to remember these patterns. Maybe it's not. I don't know. It's hard for me to remember these patterns. Maybe because I don't have a lot of experience with platformers. That double jump usually gets me. And this guy's gonna jump and then he drops a regular kick. Yep, I got that one. Okay. Double jump. Okay. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> Alright, last attempt. Last attempt. Because we just hit 10 minutes. 
Otherwise, next episode we will uh, try to conquer this one more time. I don't want to spend a whole episode on the same thing, so I don't know how we're going to do it. We might uh, might have to record the whole thing and speed it up, and we'll actually play through the, the round that uh, we actually beat him in. Or the, the replay that we actually beat him in, I should say. Oh, this game can be frustrating as heck. I've been stuck on this boss forever. Like, I've been playing this game outside of the, uh, like, I was botted videos. I play it every once in a while just because I like the music and stuff like that. And I have tried beating this boss, and I'll play it for like a half hour trying to beat this boss. Like, it's ridiculous how many times I've tried to beat this guy. I'm just that bad at these types of games. Like, it's not that he's super hard. I jumped and kicked it, but somehow that doesn't freaking work. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm raging on my keyboard. Okay. This is the last attempt. <laughs> the game's so addicting, like, this is what happens. You want to stop, and then you can't because the sound just keeps drawing you in, and you say, oh, well, you know, that was a stupid mistake. Let me play one more time, so. I like looking at the rainbow sine wave type things. It's kind of cool when you duck down. I don't want to mess around right now because I don't want to have to redo this again. All right, guys, wish me luck. Let's see what happens here. Jump kick, jump kick. Jump kick, jump kick, come down, kick, okay. All right, that's the hard part. I think, I feel like I only have to hit him one more time, but I feel like I might have hit him once. Like, I, I feel like I got to this point where I was able to kick him a, a second time and he still had something else I had to do, which I have no idea what that would even be at this point, so. Okay, okay, stop talking. Can't stop talking, we're commentating. What are you gonna drop, what are you gonna, oh my God, yes! Okay, are you done, are you done? Please be done. Please be done. Oh, what is this? UFOs? What? What? Are you kidding? What? Okay. We're stopping for a second. Like, I don't do face cam really. I'm, I may say time, sometime in the future, but like at this point, I wish I had face cam. You should see my face right now. Did you see what just happened? So I kicked him a second time. He starts wobbling all over the place, and then he shoots freaking UFOs into the sky. And the first one's low, the second one's high, I jump, I duck, and I, it somehow hits me. And there's no checkpoints, so I have to redo this whole freaking thing. So with that, guys, this is Wise Gamer. I think I'm going to have to end the video here. Um, game is testing my ability to... Uh, excuse me, my ability to uh, not rage. <laughs> um, and as you can see, I am raging a little bit. Like, are you kidding me? I cannot believe that just happened. So... Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry we didn't beat the level. Uh, I mean, we beat one level, but we didn't beat the boss level. So I guess we'll play this at least one more week because I want to beat that boss level. I'm just not going to do episode after episode of the same level. And I kind of feel like that's where I'm at with Bitrip Runner because I do suck at platform running type games, as you've seen in my indie game preview of History of the Demon Girl and of my indie preview of The Beast and uh, any other side-scroller that I've done in the past, such as like retro... Uh, uh, Princess Power. What was that one? Retro Runner. Princess Power. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What a game. It's fun. It's fun for sure. It's just not fun when you have to redo the whole thing again. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a comment below. Like if you think that I am right in the ability that uh, you should be spared with checkpoints or with, uh, like power-ups actually doing something other than points. <laughs> if I have a rainbow hit me and then bring me back down to just the regular sparklers or something like that. But I should have at least one extra hit because of that. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you next time and uh, check out my daily content. We do upload every day. Um, also tomorrow we're going to have another indie game preview as well as South Park stick of truth. Um, so make sure you check those ones out and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching my video today, guys. Make sure you check out my indie game preview of warriors of Valyrium, as well as my interview with the dev where we talked about super distro and had a really good time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more content as we do upload daily, and we'll see you next time.